You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Sports. Well, here we are. The lack of moral compass from the National Football League, or as many of you like to refer to it as the National Felon League. Oh, it's going to rear its ugly head come tomorrow because as of tomorrow, Deshaun Watson will be reinstated to the NFL and eligible to play. My wife is looking at me like, ugh, gross. Let's get to this. Deshaun Watson compliant with suspension terms, eligible to play. You know, that's interesting because I'm just going to point out uh, the fact that He seemed to not want to take responsibility in a couple of interviews after the fact. And uh, that was supposed to be part of this whole gig. But for whatever reason, the NFL has decided to just bend both knees to this guy. Cleveland Browns quarterback, and this is Adam Schefter. Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson has complied with the terms of his 11-game suspension, according to the NFL. And officially will be eligible Monday to play his first game of the season next weekend against his former team, the Houston Texans. That's going to be interesting. He's actually playing against his former team in his first game with the Browns. Watson's impending return means quarterback Jacoby Brissett is expected to make the last of his 11 starts to open this season against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Watson's debut with the Browns next Sunday will be exactly 700 days since he's last played in a regular season game with the Texans on January 3rd, 2021. He is one day away from completing the terms of his suspension, which was reached via settlement by the NFL and NFL Players Association August 18th. Watson was suspended for violating the league's personal conduct policy by committing sexual assault as defined by the NFL on massage therapists. He was also fined $5 million dollars and has to undergo mandatory treatment program. Watson has been accused of by more than two dozen women of sexual assault and inappropriate misconduct during massage th- sessions. Over the summer, Watson agreed to settle 23 of 24 lawsuits. A 25th lawsuit was dropped by the plaintiff when the judge ruled that her petition had to be amended with her name. Two other women filed criminal complaints against Watson, but did not sue him. Watson has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing and said people have been interested in uh, haven't been interested in hearing his side of the story. I think we should point out very quickly. You notice that two other women filed criminal complaints but did not sue him. So at least two women at least uh, filed complaints and wasn't interested in money. That makes Watson look bad. I'm just letting you know. Watson has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing and said people have been interested, haven't been interested in hearing his side of the story. Look, man, when there's 25 complaints, you lose the benefit of the doubt. You just do. He still hasn't spoken publicly since his suspension was announced. Browns traded for Watson in March, sending the Texans three first round draft picks. Cleveland also signed Watson to a five year, $230 million guaranteed contract the richest in NFL history. Watson returned to participate in practice with the Browns on November 16th and has been allowed to sit in on meetings and work out with the team since October 10th. He will become the sixth quarterback in the past 15 seasons to make his debut against the team he last played for. According to the last sports bureau, of course, Mayfield, as in Baker and Russell Wilson did it this year. And... It should be noted, neither one of their seasons has gone great. Um, We should point out in all this, and it's something we're not talking about a lot, we saw a glimpse of Watson in the preseason. He looked terrible. He has missed a lot of playing time. It's been a long time since he has been a starting quarterback in the NFL. This is not a slam dunk that this is going to go well for the Browns even on the field, that he's automatically going to come in and be able to start running and hit the ground running and playing well against actual live-fire NFL defenses. You know, 
Um, that's that's something we don't talk about. I know Chris Sims has been very uh, skeptical about the idea that this might not go well. You know that that you have to you have to stay engaged as an NFL quarterback to stay capable of playing in the league. That's what always made the idea that Colin Kaepernick could just come back and play five years later so absurd. No, he couldn't. Of course he couldn't. Um, people are acting like playing an NFL quarterback is just like that easy. It's not. So that's the one thing we haven't talked about. This could go incredibly badly, even worse than it's already gone for the Browns. You lay in the bed, you make. You know what I'm saying? So next weekend, Watson will be back. I assure you we will do something covering that. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.